Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sofa Lockpicker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a little bit on blind codes. So when you take a look at a lock, you can find a blind code that can either be stamped on the front of it, like this very old master lock, but this is something you don't see too common nowadays. Or you can see the blind code stamped right on the key, which you can see on this newer master lock right here. So what the blind code is, it's an attempt to be able to make it easily for someone to look up the key bidding to their lock, but not have it blatantly obvious to someone that doesn't have access to the database. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to run these two blind codes through the database, cut a key that will work to the lock, and just show you how that whole process works. So let's get started with that right now. All right, so let's look up our first blind code. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the older master lock that had the blind code stamped right on front of it. And that code was 2021. So I'm going to type 2021 into the database and let's look it up. So as you can see, we're getting several options here, but we're gonna sort by padlock. Then we're gonna to go to master lock number one, cause that's what we have. And now we can see that the code is gonna be three, four, four, six. So we're going to write that down and note it, and we're going to use that to code cut our key to that lock. Now, while we're in the database, we might as well look up the code to our second lock, the one that had the blind code stamped right on the key itself. On that lock, the code was 3106, so let's type that in right now, and we'll look that one up. So as you can see, we still have a lot of different choices. It says we have 127 options. But we're going to sort by padlock, we're going to go to master padlock, then we're going to see the code's going to be 1130. So looking at the key itself, it looks like that does match up. And what we're going to do now is let's code cut both of these locks keys so we can check it out and see how well this technique is going to work. All right, so let's cut the key to the very first lock, the old one that had the blind code stamped right on front of it. Our code that we're going to cut to is going to be 3446. So what I'm going to do is take my M1 key, and we're going to insert it right into the code cutter. We're going to line up our key perfectly right here, and then we're going to turn the machine on. And now let's cut this to 3446. <laughs> So let's take our key out, and we're going to deburr it. And that's going to be key number 13446. So now let's work on our second key, which is going to be the one that had the blind code stamped right on the front of it. So the code we're going to cut to is going to be 1130. So let's align up our M1 blank right here. Turn our machine on. Cut to 1130.
right, so we can achieve our RP right now. Alright, so and this is going to be our key we just cut to 1130. Let's test out our key and see how we did. So our blind code was 2021 on this older master lock. And the code that we needed in order to get this lock open is going to be 3446, which we were able to code cut right here. So this is an older worn lock, so it's probably not going to work very well. But let's insert our key and turn. And we were able to get our lock opened up. And that is really, really cool. Now let's try this out on our newer master lock. So we were able to run the blind code 3106 and we were able to get the code 1130, which we were able to code cut right here. So let's insert our key, give it a turn and see how well that worked. So today's video was a great example of what blind codes are, why they are used and how you can use them to make a new key. One concerning thing you may have on this lock is why was it stamped on the front of it in the first place? And that's because this is an older lock and having access to the codes back when this lock was made was a much different story than it is today. But either way guys, this has been a really cool video and if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave them right in the comment section below and I'd really love to check them out. If you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out and I hope you all have a great day. I cannot wait to see you in the next video.